The rod units are basically a combination of other units. A good example of this is if we think about speed. Speed is meters per second, right? When we're talking about speed, we're talking about um, how far something is going over a certain time frame, okay? That's speed. Now, um, let's talk about some other, some other units. I wanna talk about volume. Uh, so volume, as we mentioned earlier before, is the measure of space, okay? The measure of space. Now, I just wanna mention about liters, all right? So liters is actually not a fundamental unit. Did you guys know that liters are derived from meters? Okay, so if liters are derived from meters, that's going to uh, uh, impact how we think about certain things, right? Uh, so because liters are derived from meters, one liter can be converted to a thousand milliliters, right? Milliliters. Think about that prefix, milli, thousand. Okay, so one liter can be converted to a thousand milliliters, but since liter is not a fundamental unit and it's actually derived from meter, we can actually convert liters to meters. Okay, so a thousand milliliters is actually the same thing as saying a thousand centimeters cubed. Okay, so these are can be the same volume. They could be the same volume. Okay, so usually, right, if you ever see like the centimeters cubed or meters cubed or something like that, usually this is talking about solids or something. Um, so th this is the reason why, okay, is because liters are derived from meters here. Now, this leads me to density. Okay, so density. Density, okay, is basically the measurement that's going to compare the amount of matter of an object to its volume, okay? So this is a property of matter density. And everybody, um, density is our mass over volume. Mass over volume, okay? So this is how we're going about finding density. Now with density, um, we have our three states of matter, um, usually solids are the most dense, liquids are right after that, and then gas is the least dense. And then I just inputted some common units um, that you might see with uh, those different densities. For instance, solids might be grams over centimeters cubed. Uh, liquids might be grams over milliliters. And then gases, right, because um, they can fill the entire co container. Uh, you usually might see grams over liters, just depends. Uh, but these are just some common density units you might see. But understand, right, you can have any type of unit for density as long as it's a mass over volume. So you see a mass unit over a volume unit, you're looking at density there. So let's just, a quick example, right, if we got 25 milliliters of isopropanol, um, and we know that our mass for this is going to be 19 0.625 grams, what's the density of this? Okay, so basically, you're gonna take your mass, 19.62, right, grams, divide by your volume, 25 milliliters, okay? And this is gonna give you 19 divided by 25, 0 0.7850 grams per milliliter, okay? This is a key component of everything in chemistry, everyone, units, okay? You always remember your units. So for example, if you were supposed to do 19 divided by 25 and you told me 0.785, you thought that was it, that is actually wrong, okay? Because this 0.785 could be anything if I don't see a unit, right? So you must always remember, carry over your units, always carry over your units. Okay, this is going to be important for anything you do in any type of science. If you don't have units, it don't make sense. Okay, so have your units with your number as well.